Vocabulary, it's not that scary. Hey, welcome to another edition of Can You Beat Me? It's a multiple choice, three choices. Vocabulary test, it's 15 questions. They're not easy. See if you can beat me. I'm gonna take the test live. and I will score it at the end, so try to remember your answers. All right, and let's see how well you do. If you beat me, then you are with fame. If you fall, what a shame. But be sure to share it and let people know how wonderful you are at communicating by using better words because that's really what it's about. It's looking forward to engaging ourselves while we educate ourselves and make it done in a bit of an entertaining format by challenging ourselves to see how well we do. This. This test, it's nothing surprising. This test is actually found in Reader's Digest, a monthly periodical. Back in the day when we used to all read periodicals, this is one that I enjoyed every month. And in the last pages of the magazine, they always had a vocabulary test. I would take the test, rarely ace it. And I thought, well, geez, um, this is something where people could drive along and learn and benefit as well. So why don't we give it a go? Uh, the words are always linked. Uh, this one has something, that, all these words have something to do with emotions. So as I'm reading through them, keep that in mind. These are all words linked to emotions. Not that that's gonna make it any easier on you as we go. Okay, uh, number 11, umbrage. Uh, okay, I did say I was going with exasperation. Okay, number 11, umbrage. Uh, is a noun, indignant displeasure, destructive rage, or meditative state? Boy, all two word answers on this one. Indignant displeasure, destructive rage, or meditative state? If I take umbr I take umbrage with something, so I don't take a meditative state with something. I take a destructive rage with, no, I take an indignant displeasure. So I think it's the middle ones in this. I take umbrage with that. I'm a little bit offended. Okay, number 12 is schadenfreude. Now, do I get a medal for pronouncing these correctly? No, I don't, but that one I got because I was born in Berlin. Yes, my dad was in the army, and my mom was a native German, blah, blah, blah. Um, Schadenfreude, uh, does this mean tearfulness, timidity, or joy at another's pain? Tearfulness, timidity, or joy at another's pain? Schadenfreude. Well, Schaden is bad. Schade is bad, like, you know, in German. So, um... Timid wouldn't, doesn't fit here. Tearfulness, it's joy at another person's pain. It, it, it's one of those words that um, another language around the world actually has a word that fits that English doesn't have one that clearly says joy at another's pain. But we all laugh when somebody stubs their toe or whacks a funny bone, don't we? <laughs> well, at least the guys do. Okay, uh, number 13, querulous, adjective. And is querulous, hyperactive, fretful, or fickle? Querulous. Hyperactive, fretful, or fickle? You know, I know if, uh, if there's a query, there's a question about something, so hyperactive would not work on that. Fretful or fickle? Fickle or fretful would work, but if I'm querulous, I probably have a lot of questions so I'm either fickle back and forth or I'm fretful. Fickle is indecisive, but fretful would mean you have a lot of questions. I'm gonna go with fretful. It seems more logical than fickle, but fickle seems... Oh, all right. Anyway, 14 is the blithesome adjective, unconcerned, guarded, or merry. Unconcerned, guarded, or merry. Number 14 is blithesome. It's an adjective. Blithesome. You know, I know it's not blight, but blithesome, unconcerned, it's not guarded. So it's unconcerned or merry, but some, it seems to be a term of abundance. So I'm going to go with Mary on that one. And number 15, da -da -da, we reach the end. And number 15, lugubrious. Lugubrious. Does that mean you are chatty, mournful, or disgusted? Lugubrious. Chatty, mournful, or disgusted? Well, loquacious is chatty. 
That's close. That's a good throw-off word where they use one that's close, isn't it? Uh, okay, chattier, mournful, or disgusted, lugubrious. Sounds like a dirge. I'm going to go with mournful. Sounds really like, uh, so I'm mournful. Okay, that's all 15. Let's see how we did. Hey, remember, if you're enjoying this, hit the like button. You know, let me know when I read these answers later, which ones you missed down in the comment section below. Be sure to like this, hit that notification bell, subscribe, all those other things I'm supposed to be telling you about, and let's get on with these answers. Number 10, compunction is a remorse. Ooh, it's not exasperation, it was compunction. Number 11, umbrage is indignant displeasure, A. Uh, number 12 uh, is schadenfreude, that is joy at another person's pain, C. Okay, number 13, querulous is B, fretful. Uh, 14, blithesome. Blithesome is C, married. Lugubrious number 15, end of test is B, mournful. Man, talk about finishing with some lucky guesses by me. I'll take them anyway. Hey, and I appreciate you playing along. Make sure you like, help, subscribe, help the channel to grow. Here's a video, what is it? Uh, no. This video is the one I think you could do. This that one's the one I don't think you can do. You're going to fail this one. You're, wait a minute. Which way did I load these? Oh, well, I guess you'll find out.